Hey guys, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I wanted to introduce you to the um, Photoshop Flame Rendering Tool. Um, this tool is not new, I believe it's been around since 2014. Um, if I'm wrong, please correct me in the comments below. Uh, um, I wanted to quick give you a quick intro on how to use this and show you how I created these very basic uh, images, I'm sure you'll produce even better images uh, when you come to do your own artwork. Um, before we get started, please don't forget if you're new to the uh, channel to uh, hit that subscribe button and that bell icon to be notified of more videos I'm going to be putting out soon. The couple, uh, just a couple things to take note, uh, the rendering works on paths, on working paths, so that's why I got the paths dialog box up. Also, um, for the purpose of this video, I'm using a, a low-res image. Um, just be note that high-res images and complex parts could uh, the make the rendering uh, take it could take longer, and also it can be quite uh, power-hungry on the machine on your on your computer you're using. I'm using a MacBook Pro. I've um, I've had no issues doing complex or or high-res images. So let me get show you, let me show you how I added the flame to this uh, skull. Uh, what I did was I clicked on I selected the um, as you can see it's in a uh, it's in a own, um, transparent background, but I added a black background so the so the flame sticks out nicer. What I did was I did a um, command um, click on the uh, uh, on the skull um, layer or control um, click on a PC. Then what I went, when I did was I went to the layers, and I clicked on uh, on make working path from selection, like that. Now I prefer to work on a new layer, so it's not it's non-destructive. So I added a new layer, and I went to filter, render flames, and starting from the top here, flame type. There you can use the one flame. Or multiple flames, it goes up to candlelight, up to that. And these sliders, uh, with these sliders, you can, you know, enhance the um, uh, the flame the way you want it. Now, depending on what option you choose, enables these uh, sliders. So if I, because I've only enabled one flame along path, you only get this slider. But if I use two. Then you get more of the sliders uh, enabled for you to work with. So let's see. That's just the width of it. that's too big for the for the purpose of this photo. And then intervals meaning the the break between the. If I go further, you can see as there's little breaks in between the flames. Like that, I want to keep it closer together. Now you can go to the advanced tab and use things like the flame style, you know, violent or flat, and the flame shape, parallel or spread. I'm going to use uh, the number two option, and I'm going to use uh, to the center. Other things is the jag, jag um, of the uh, of the edges of the uh, flame and opacity. Obviously, higher you go, the more bright it becomes. Now I'm just gonna the length a bit more, just the length, just a little bit more, and click OK. So now uh, that that's the that's the flame around it. Now I can. Um, you know, adjust the size of the flame uh, layer. You know, or make it sit nicely in there, like that. So that's using a, a photo. Um, now using a font or a, a type. Uh, let me just hide these. I'm going to use the type tool. I'm going to. You can use any any font you like or. Um, that you have. I'm going to control command T to expand it and make it bigger. 
Now to create the working path for this is you go to type and you create work path. So as you can see, it's put these little uh, square boxes around it. Then I'm going to create a new, a new layer. Now I can either use the previous one I did, the previous flame I did. Let me see how that looks. That's it there. And if I don't want to do that, I can um, control Command Z or Control Z till I go back. Then I can go back to Filter, Render, Flame. Now that's saying that I need to have a new. That was saying. Let me do that again to show you what that meant. So I, now this is saying it couldn't do it on its um, on on the uh, uh, that layer itself. So I need to create a new layer. Like I said, it's always better to work with uh, on a new layer. It help gives you more room to. Um, to move or to adjust then I go now I go to on the new layer I go to a filter render flames Let's adjust a few things I'll bring that down actually a bit too much that's that's the width causing that there we go this way click OK now I can hide the the, the type um, layer if I want to now I can now add adjustments to this uh, to this layer that I created the flame in I can probably double click go into an add and add a glow to it so let me just bring it down so I can see what my what I'm doing You know, things like that. This is just purpose of this video. I'm just quickly running through this. So it added that little glow to it. You know, so that's that's basically it, guys. Um, like I said, these are just very basic pieces of designs or uh, artwork I did. Uh, I'm sure you will come up with some better better designs. I would love to see them. Please add them. Uh, add your link to the um. um comments below so we, can, so we can have a look thanks for watching guys i hope this helped i hope you got some idea of how to use the uh, uh, the flame rendering tool um like i said if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon for uh, future videos i'll be putting out thanks again for watching